everybody, welcome back to Head Over Heels. This is our second time rolling because the first time I wasn't very happy with the introduction. So we're doing this again. Yes, we are doing this again. <laughs> and with me on the podcast, you already heard, he is my boyfriend. And I this am is, her boyfriend. This is a very am, yes. highly... Stop speaking over me, Joseph. Sorry. Um, this is a very highly requested she podcast. She gets super annoyed, by Joseph. the way, if I just cut in like that. So I'm just... Okay, yeah, this is a very highly requested episode um, that uh, a lot of you guys wanted. Who, and who requested? I can't... Joseph! Can you stop it? You know what? I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to let him speak his mind. Is there anything you want to say, sir? My name is Joseph. That's about it. Okay. And before I go, Joseph, I'm going to show um, he had a request that is to give him a 30 second ad space. So right now, I'm going to just start off my timer and you will just say whatever you want to say. 30, for that 30 seconds, seconds huh? because okay. you are my client, right? So mm, you can say whatever client, you want, uh, right? Mm. Mm. I want my face to be a little bit brighter and okay. don't see my shoelace. Okay, right sir. Okay. All right, in three, two, one, go. This show is brought to you by Park Min Young's secret boyfriend and most handsome guy on earth, me, <laughs> Motion Lab, a strength gym that focuses on developing mobility. So if you have shitty joints, you know where to go. Amen. The shittiest show on the takeaway <laughs> table. And finally, head over heels. Ah, damn. <laughs> Disgusting shit. Ah, sh And that's about it. Oh, perfect. Five that was seconds. 26 seconds. Great. You want to add four more seconds of any words? Yeah, sure. Um, and go. And time. Sorry, sir. I just did a wing. There's nothing Oh, you did? Do. Okay, yeah. sure. All right. You know what, guys? I, I highly recommend y'all to jump over to YouTube because you might want to see what's going on on set right now. I do not know, don't know, know, do not know what to expect because whenever Joseph is here, um, chaos follows. So you don't tell me to re-record again. No uh, more. Okay, exactly that's, like this, that's it. That's it. Anyway, guys, welcome, welcome. I'm very excited to kind of just get into it because there's so many things we want to talk about and obviously they are all your questions. So today, I will have to say um, straight up, I didn't plan for this. Um, I didn't plan the episode like we usually do. This is all of your question that you sent in on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. We couldn't record because uh, of COVID, um, but here we are. So I'm going to go straight into it before Joseph distracts me again. All right. So we're going to just briefly talk about how we met. Joseph, you want to go for it? We met on Tinder, basically. You can give the full story, no problem. Okay, so we met on Tinder for, um, I think, five, six, six years ago. Wow. Six, seven, Joe. Seven, seven, yeah. 2015. Who you met before that? Huh? Bella, I met Bella. Hey, Bella. Remember the swipe? You swiped right, right? And Ryan as well. I can be fluid if I wanted to. Okay, enough. But anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so we met on Tinder and then I remember swiping her right for the first time. I don't know why I, I, I keep saying this story. You guys need to revisit all the previous episodes, like guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack don't, up the keep views it short. For them, keep it la. short. Come on, like. Keep it short, baby. Don't, don't, don't keep watching Amen. <laughs> Amen's view is so high. Just watch their one, like, please, like, guys. Come wow. on, Wow, <laughs> throw, throw shit. Oh, <laughs> watch the table talk. Watch the the, the food show, the food buddies, and what taste buddies. Sorry, and watch, watch. We are not here to sneakers, throw but, shit. Can uh, you go back to your story, <laughs> bro? They're gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we uh, we met on uh, Tinder and the day itself where we swiped right, we matched. Um, there was a friend, I think. Uh, the Don't only, just say his name. The la. only Kwai in Malaysia, Mark, Mark Odier. <laughs> Mark Odier. So we went to Mark Odier's uh, housewarming and then coincidentally we met for the first time. I remember mm. looking at Maggie's profile, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Dams, you know. And then when I look at her, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> So so she posted photos of her um during her Miss Universe days and then like when I saw her, let's just say the photos that she posted were not the same as uh, IRL. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. But but mm. I really dug in deep. It was like mining, you know? Mm. Like mining in a third world country. Joseph. You, have, you have to pay the officials illegally uh to bribe to really dig in deep to find gold and did diamonds. Did you find your goal? Yeah, I did. Ah, That's why we're here for seven see? years. Good things are hard to come by and hard to find. You think so easy? So easy for what? Not fun really? True, ah. true. Ay, shit. But anyway, yeah, my version of the story is yes, um, at that point of time when I was on Tinder, I had no good photos, right? So at the time, I, I was very insecure about myself and the way I looked. So obviously, I, I you know, wasn't going to post up photos of me uh, IRL at the time because I barely took any photos. So the only photos that I felt was attractive or was, well, was usable was the photos maybe many years ago when I was still in 
uh, Miss Universe. So I used that photo. I still remember exactly which photo. It's the photo that I was turning around in my bikini and it was focused on my butt. You are a butt guy, don't, aren't you? I remember that. I do remember that photo. I remember that God. photo. You are a butt guy. No wonder you If you have a right. secret OnlyFans account right now, you let me know right I now. I don't okay, have. Maggie, I don't like- but I remember that very photo. Like I was in my bikini and I was turning around. So the shot photo. was from the it back. It was the dress photo, Maggie. I remember you had dress? like a night dress, like an evening dress. You were wearing an evening dress photo. Uh-huh. And then you were turning around, not your bikini lah. Bro, it's my bikini shot, bro. No, I remember you had that. More photos, lah, Maggie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm fight so you, lah, Maggie. All right. So yes, I have to. I have to admit that at the time, I really didn't look like my photos. You had no butt that time, also lah. Now I'm better. Wow, thank you. <laughs> no, Joseph is a butt guy. I'm just gonna have to say no, that. No, I'm not. He is. I am a mind guy. Mind. I'm not that shallow, right. lah. Actually, I'm very shallow. No, you're a bit of both, lah. But okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So first impression. Um, Joseph to me was whoa he's really tall Um, and uh, basically I went to the housewarming Mark's housewarming and um, that's where I met Joseph on the day that we matched on Tinder and actually if I remember correctly we didn't have much conversation on Tinder it was I think five six replies and then we left it hanging and Mm -hmm. the next thing I know I saw him at the housewarming party and it was very very awkward because I'm like oh shit because obviously I know I didn't look like my photos and I didn't expect myself to like meet him so soon in real life. So I was like, oh shit, what did I do? I wanted to hide, but I couldn't hide. Oh, um, no wonder you were so scared. I was quiet. Every time, every time we share, right? There's always like like a, a new reveal. <laughs> <laughs> this time like, oh shit. I remember, I remember seeing Joseph's face and he was like, he was confused What if I was me. <laughs> he was like, hi. This is all uh, very new to me. Sorry. He, then I, in my head, I was like, ah, shit. Why am I seeing him now? Because I knew in my head that, ah, fuck. I've, I messed up. I I should have revealed myself so so. I thought I can still chat with him for a little bit more. But holy smoke. But yeah, he didn't speak to me at all that whole night, by the way. I was damn angry, by the way. <laughs> yeah, how did you feel? I was like, wow, Joseph, is this what catfish being catfish is like? I yes. can understand. I don't, again, I don't mind, you know. Your, no, you what, didn't. Okay. But but I got catfish, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was did. angry because I was, I felt like we had a like a bond when we swiped to the right. Oh, please, we didn't have much conversation. <laughs> I felt like you were the one. Oh, please, don't bullshit me. (laughs) Bet you guys didn't see, have never seen this side of Maggie before. (laughs) Just speak, bro. I don't know what to say anymore. I lost my train of thought. That's why don't distract people and don't distract yourself. Continue, (laughs) just talk, Mm. You see? But yeah, like... mm. You see? Mm. How did we get together? You want to share that? So um, I it unmatched was not a very a, smooth process. We already yeah. said the match part. Can oh, move on the, already. No, 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 no. Oh, the day after I found out Maggie's uh, <laughs> true identity, <laughs> I would say she's not she's not like Batman or anything like that, but like Catwoman. Not even Catwoman. <laughs> uh, catfish got lah. <laughs> 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 but the day I found out Maggie's true identity, I unmatched her on Tinder. Oh yeah! Oh my god! So I went back home. I continued my Tinder experience and journey. I went on swiping people again. Journey? What? You think eat, pray, love? Is it? What? 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 <laughs> so I went back and I started swiping again. I'm like, Ui? Because after you swipe a person, they, they go, I, I don't know how Tinder is like now. I mean, this was seven years ago. He was in my conversation list, the approved list, right? Suddenly, I see this face again. I remember that photo, your men's health magazine shoot. The topless one. I, a typical guy, take shirtless photos. Typical guy. Ryan, you do that, ah? And then after that. It takes a special kind of breed, alright, to do that, right? And I'm a special breed, Maggie. Yeah, whatever. But here you are sitting Ah, with me. Who's the winner? Okay. So. Clearly not me. (laughs) Clearly not me. Um, I saw Joseph again on Tinder and I'm like. I I, it didn't register in my head that he unswiped me at the time. I was like, eh? Got glitch or what? (laughs) So I went back to the conversation. I couldn't find our conversation. And I'm like, Bitch, match me! How dare you? And I was so mad at him because I was like, "What an bitch. asshole!" So I didn't talk to you for a while. Oh, there's yep. some sort of respect here with me. I'm what respect? Client. You unmatched me, bro, just because of the way yeah, I look. What shallow right now, man are you? So You're the... no longer the client. The, the ad's been done, bro. We can take it out if I want okay, to. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so in my defense, was wow, this girl lied. 
she lied to yeah, me. Just then I stand want, people who yeah, lie. so she lied to me. I'm like, you know what? I will unfollow you. I will unmatch, unmatch you. And then like, it didn't hit me because uh, at that time, I thought I'll probably only go see her one time. Lah, whatever, <laughs> you know? I'm just going to avoid her for the rest of my life. Right? So I, I unmatched her. And then a month after that, uh, we met up. But not we didn't meet up because we wanted to meet up with each other. We wanted to see each other. It was, it was because uh, one of our good friends, um, they were going out. Like like going out. They I were was dating. trying to match meet them. Yeah. and But they didn't want to be alone. Mm. So the guy called me and then Maggie's uh, friend called her. So we met up and then I saw her face. I'm like, wow, lao. this is going to be censored, right? Match how high her again. Uh. Wow, lao, eh. So, but we met up, but we had a good time. I'm not going to lie. The time was nice. We watched the movie yeah, and then we had cool. like dinner and stuff. Yeah. And then the next day, it was again for the friends, but mm-hmm. like they, they didn't end up being together. <laughs> I'm kidding. Matt, I love you. If you're watching this, I love you, Matt. Um, I hope you find the UK because um, I really... he found a girl already. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't good worry. Good job, Matt. He's good. But anyway, like um, we were supposed to uh to volunteer at a soup kitchen, and both of them uh ended up like Fong Fei Ke, uh bailing what, bailing out on us, Fong Fei Ke on us. Um, but but Maggie and I decided to go on anyway, and then that was the first time me seeing someone uh being so selfless, you know, and and that's a huge turn on for me. And then we had. Thai food right after that. I still Ryan, think it's mama, you, but okay. Are you? It's quite cringe, right, Ryan? You say, right? Yeah. Joseph, you just tell your story. I'm kidding. People will react, one. I, was, oh, I like. I like. So story. I'm. I'm reacting their reaction. No, no need. Not. No need. Oh, so so yeah. We we went on Thai food. We had Thai food right after that, and then like we talked a lot, and then we 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 spoke to each other until like midnight. Way past two Way, three a.m. Yeah, maybe. two three a.m. And then uh, that made me realize like wow. Um, prior to being catfish, this girl is actually quite cool. So hence, like, I've decided to invest a little bit more time and my effort to uh, <laughs> to acknowledge her presence. <laughs> and hence, it's been seven years. So yeah. I am proudly sitting here as your boyfriend. I'm proudly sitting here as your girlfriend as well. But no yeah, one I'll- asked you what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys heard his version of the story. I'm not going to just tell my version. It's pretty similar to the ones after the catfish episode. Um, I, I had a good time spending time with Joseph. I think we started off as friends. Um, and that kind of made me realize that, hey, this guy is cool. Like, he's funny. He's nice to hang out with. And I want to hang out with him more. Joseph, can you sit properly? My goodness. Okay, whatever. Bella asked me to be comfortable. Okay, Bella. Not you. She's a okay. showrunner. You're just a host. Wow. Sure. Okay, so yeah, I had a good time. And I still think we went for Mama, but Joseph still thinks it's Thai food. I don't know. Until today. Who here lives in Uptown? I, I Uptown, right? The Maybank, I, same row. There's a Muslim <laughs> Thai restaurant, right? Who knows that place? Is it Bell, Muslim even Thai? Bella knows, yes. I thought it's a Mama. Ah, sh- you, even, you can't even differentiate Mama. So uncultured. No, I remember maybe maybe because of okay, whatever. Maybe it is you're right. Sure, let's move no, on. No, we fought, you know. We actually yeah. fought, you know. So <laughs> so I want to clarify right now. <laughs> don't are- don't downplay Maggie. Don't gaslight me, Maggie. <laughs> okay. Wow. We're gonna go straight into the QA right now, Joseph. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, the first question is what's the first thing you noticed about each other? I mean, I think we answered that pretty much. Yeah. Oh, fake photos. <laughs> His assholeness that I realized. Okay, that's the first thing I noticed. But of course, later on, Joseph already said my heart of gold was what attracted him, right? Uh, for Joseph was his humor. <laughs> for Joseph was his humor. I think his humor has been quite consistent throughout the years. Um, I've never dated a funny guy, to be very honest. I think all the guys I used to date are, in retrospect, quite boring. They hardly make me laugh. They were just either, I don't know. Boring. Make you cry or cheat on you. Wow. <laughs> we go there already. But yeah, so yeah, humor was a big thing for me uh, ever since I met Joseph. I think it's very important to have someone who can make you laugh um, every day. Yeah. So little things in life, right? Okay, second thing. Second question. Ah, this mm-hmm. one is for me. How does Maggie handle Joseph's behavior? Clearly, without me seeing Joseph's behavior, y'all know what his behavior is like. Um, um, in bracket, dirty talk and childish. <laughs> Dirty talk. <laughs> I wouldn't say dirty talk. La. I don't go up to you and say, hey, Maggie, uh, I want to 
I want to strip your pants right now. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, no, like, like your talk. dirty talk. Like, I'm, I don't know. Humor, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Your dir- oh, dirty sh- humor. Hey, ask, properly, ask questions properly. <laughs> la, well, uh, ask questions like that for what? Dirty <laughs> talk. Uh. You think I'm what pervert is it to you? <laughs> but um, how do I handle his behavior? I don't. I don't handle. I let him be what he wants. Obviously, if he gets overboard, I'll just call him out. La, mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think I want to change Joseph. I mean, I think initially I had a struggle to need need I, I needed him to be this perfect man that I envisioned him to be. But as I move along in the relationship, as the both of us grew together, I can't stand you shaking your leg like that. Can you just put your legs, legs down? Whatever I do is a... It's a podcast, Joseph. It's not your Yes, it's a podcast. They're not going to see my face. We have what? video. We're on YouTube. My clients Sorry, may I see didn't it. know. I you didn't know? The, the Amen, most no video, is it? God, because God, we're the most viewed, that's why. Huh? Sorry, what? Sorry, what? I will replay that's- that. <laughs> That's why I need a video because we're the most viewed one on the takeaway table. Uh, wow. <laughs> Kidding. Maggie and I are very competitive, by the way. So, yeah, so yeah, she yeah. cannot stand that way. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look at her face. I'm sorry. I'll buy, I'll buy you lunch. Yes. Can I buy you lunch? Yes. Hey, babe, can I buy you lunch? Yes. Okay, we're just bringing it back. PYT, uh, pretty young thing. I don't think I need to answer this question anymore because Ryan's the way, laughing because it's true. The way I handle it is just not handle. Let him he's like a loudspeaker that nobody wants wants in his life. Just talk, 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 talk. Let him talk and then we move on. You done? Yeah, I guess. Okay, there we go. Don't handle. My answer is don't handle, okay? Yes. So next question. Okay, this is good. Why well, we argue about this a couple of times before. Not argue like banter and talk about this many times. Um, is it important to know each other's love language? In the beginning, Joseph said bullshit. Love language is bullshit. I remember you saying that. I think it is very important to identify. What are the five love languages I told you? Love letter. Hi. Okay, fair. That's a uh, words of affirmation. Uh, love action. Okay, well, uh, acts of service. Um uh love purchase gifts uh sexual harassment touch <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what was the last one hey, what's the last one guys uh love gift quality time oh, uh love sexual time love making time love right? making time sexual. this is the five love like <laughs> quality time okay <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. What what are your I think we all need all these love languages. I think all five is very important. I'm sure there are more. Like understanding your partner's trauma for me is also a type of love language. Mm. Um that is very, very important that we both only realized and figured out much later in our relationship. Mm. Uh so I'll just add that in. Okay. But for Joseph, Joseph, you can pick like top two or mm. three. Mm. What is the most important for you in, in chronological order mm, in terms of importance? It would be two things. Yeah. Um, service and money. Because I feel Money's, like- Money huh? Like buying gifts. Oh, gifts, it? yes. Yeah, gifts. gifts. Yeah, gifts <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, what is it Acts called? Of service. Service. Because yes. I realized that um, sometimes no, when you do something for someone, mm. you have to spend a bit of money as well. But it's not, again, the, yeah. uh, the amount you spend, but yeah. like the, the thought, thought that comes with it, you know? Like yeah. buying me a coffee, that takes money as well. So I realized like, hmm, maybe I do like gifts, but like not <laughs> to the point where like, I want the Dior saddle bag. Oh, I want the Dior saddle oh. bag. <laughs> 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 hey, but bro, I'm okay to buy it myself. I don't need you to buy it for me. But if I, you want to buy- I never said I'll buy it for her. So <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay, so acts of service. What, what, what are the examples of acts of service? Mm. Like doing things for you, like, like, like buy me coffee and buy me lunch, buy me dinner. That's technically nice. that's a that's a mixture of both. Yeah, right? it's a mixture of, of both, and, you know? and gift. So, yeah, so I, I realize you like that. Or like that. Um, hanging my clothes for me. Yeah, yeah. Because usually that. I do most of the hanging, but lately she's been doing it, which is very nice. Yeah. And um, even though I'm angry sometimes, yeah, like yeah. we, we but, let's say we but are. But I'm not a touch person. I'm not a very touchy oh, yeah. person. I feel. I feel violated every time she touches me, and she doesn't touch me in a very like soft manner. She really touches me, like Joseph. I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, I'm 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 quite yeah. full on with touch. Yes. And then she goes to me like she does this like weird dance that she just thinks stop she's sexy, it! Don't tell not. them. Like, this is our private moment. Like, with her like twenty year old like shots, right? They got holes on the front <laughs> at night, right? Like, Joseph, and please. Like, and I'm like. <gasps> What is this? Is this supposed to be attractive? <laughs> I don't understand the point of this whole dance. Because like, you say it means going to the zoo. So I do <laughs> <laughs> so 
Sorry, the performance uh, is. <laughs> Acts of service. <laughs> No wonder. <laughs> it felt like I paid 50 bucks to go zoo yeah, Nagara. Yeah, I bring the so zoo to you. So that's the whole experience. Mm, wow. Yes, yes. Thanks for putting it into perspective. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, context. Joseph really wanted to go to the zoo mm. uh, in here during his last birthday. But it was locked down. So we couldn't make it. I want to go this uh, year. This year, hopefully we can make it. Okay, which mm. is uh, next month. Am mm. I right? Uh, April. Yes, but my birthday comes first. So you can have to buy, bring me somewhere first. <laughs> Maggie is a huge fan of birthdays. She loves to celebrate, celebrate birthdays, even hers. So every year, I I try to surprise her, even though I am very shit at it. He just bought this this year's surprise already, but it's okay. No, every year it's already there already. Every year I have to do a surprise. Whether <laughs> she like it. never. Him. The last two years they didn't come on like, lockdown, like, brother. Then a surprise one, huh? <laughs> Best friends all at your house. Then suddenly we get slapped like one thousand bucks to pay the government. Can I tell you the truth? There was one time, right? I think it was my birthday and uh, I walked home thinking that he planned a whole surprise for me. Like my, all my friends inside hiding. No and then wonder and then you're off. so upset every year. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, wait, let me finish. And after that, I was like, I finished work. Remember that when I hosted the Dior event that, that day, but then I was sick. So what happened? I was sick. So I went home. I really thought at the back of my head that Joseph would plan this whole thing uh, surprise for me. When I went in, it was just him. I was like, I boring. <laughs> I'm just, just going to be confess. very awkward just look at her the whole time. <laughs> okay, so my turn. Um, you want to ask me my love language? What's your love language? I know what your love okay, language is. Okay, what do you is. think my love language are? Touch, definitely. For sure. Yeah. I love to touch. <laughs> touch and um, quality time. One more. How oh, you got three? Uh? Yeah. So needy <laughs> way. What the hell? Uh, touch, service and... Uh, no, no. Words or affirmation. Touch and... Uh, and, uh, Correct, Dila. What's a touch? Just now you said quality it. Quality time. Yes. Mm, yep. You see, I'm not a gift kind of girl. Honestly, like if he's gonna buy me, okay, I think I would be happy if you buy me the Dior saddle. Oh, it's also money. Wow. But I would say, in terms of the top three, I definitely is words of affirmation and quality time. Because if he doesn't spend time with me, I don't feel loved, and that is a big thing. Um, so sometimes when we argue, Joseph would walk away. That's how he copes, right? So. Automatically, because of my childhood trauma and, and all that stuff, like I have this fear of abandonment. The moment he walks away, to me, is he's, he doesn't love me because he doesn't spend time with me. There's no time spent together. But over time, I think I've learned to kind of overcome that and identify that. Uh, mm. We will talk about that later. But yeah, that's my top three love language. So, okay. Uh, we can move on now. Oh, I think a lot of questions right now. <laughs> a lot. I got so many questions from oh, them. I don't think we it. can cut this one short because... You're gonna get angry. We won't do this for a long time, cause, yeah. So, what's the most romantic thing Joseph has done for Maggie? Do you want to share this? I I have my version. I think I bring her every year for our anniversary to the same place. Um, it also shows how much we uh grew individually and uh in relationship as well in the relationship as well. So, I like to bring her to the same place to remind ourselves how long like we've um we've come. Yeah. So yeah. I hope I hope the restaurant is still around. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> What's it's, the place that we give a shout uh, right now? I forgot the name, it's, but it's, it's in Sentul. Central. Central. No, yeah, Central, no, Sen- Sentul. Sentul, Sentul, yeah, yes. It's in Sentul. It's like uh, in the. Kelpak. It's right beside Kelpak. Kelp- it's that Thai fusion restaurant. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Mm. So I really, really hope they're open. I mean, I called last year. We couldn't go. Um, I called them if they're still around, but then they said I yes. Hope they're still around. They're still around, yeah. but they were closed at the time. Our anniversary is around July, so we're gonna ask again this year if they're open. When's our anniversary? You forgot last oh, time. Oh, where you forget? I never forget. Tenth of July, bro. When's my birthday? You got it wrong, man. Sorry, when's your birthday? Uh. <laughs> Okay, I, w- I would say that's the most romantic thing he has done. Also, there was one time, I think, uh, this was when he was cowing me. Lah. After that, he never do it again. But I, I would... Yeah. Where God? Extra service is my love language. I give you service. Lah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But this is a very specific one that I think was very special to me. It was... Uh, remember there was one time, I think, uh, my sister and I were single. You were trying to cow me at that time. And then my sister would, would receive a lot of I flowers. Like, I like how you said your sister and I were single, but you were calling me like, I thought you were going to the direction that I was calling both. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, no. What, my, my sister what is had, your, the, your, sorry, my, my storytelling a bit tough. Sorry, my storytelling is a bit tough. to do with this. No, okay, I have, like, to, I have to give context. So she was receiving a lot of flowers from her potential men at the time. 
And every time the flower come, I would thought I would think it's for me, but it's never for me. So I'm like, ayo, yo, my sister's so happening. So I was just I made a joke out of it. I posted it on a Facebook status. Last time people still use Facebook status, huh? This is seven years ago. Um and then one day a flower came. Uh and I'm like, I actually not for me lah. Surely it's for my sister. So I call my sister's name. Meme, your flower again. I'm like, so, so done. Like, guys, stop sending flowers. Freaking annoying. So smelly. I was so hateful about it, right? So, so bitter. But then my sister's like, Jaya, not mine lah. I think it's for you. I was like, eh? no way. And then you know what it says, the note? This one's definitely for you, Jay. And I knew in that moment it was Joseph. Wow. Got game ah. What happened, bro? It's the <laughs> Huh? You still got game. Wait, no game, no flower, only dead flowers <laughs> in my house. The game has evolved to from sending you flowers to uh, hanging your dirty clothes. <laughs> True, Joseph washes my clothes for me. He cleans the house. That's something that I, I am ultra grateful for. Uh, I think this one we'll touch on when we talk about moving in together, okay? Um, and I think this next question is, how do we know if they are the one? You can never know. I don't, I don't think, think you'll ever, ever know. I don't know, honestly. Yeah. Um, do you think I'm the one? Some days. <laughs> <laughs> so the one is a feeling. <laughs> it's I would, not a status, I, I, I guys, would, right? Yeah, I think it's a feeling. I don't know. It's a feeling. I've never had... I mean, I came from a broken family. So I've never... I've never been taught or told what it's like to meet the one. Or what do you look for for the one? Uh, I, I mean, I've had very... Um, a very... What's the word? Unrealistic ideal of relationship before this very very unrealistic that really broke us uh so it wasn't healthy to the point where i needed everything to be perfect like if one thing isn't then i feel like oh i'm gonna run away this is not for me so i feel like even until today when people say is he the one i'm like yes and no i don't know what it feels like that's why i say no uh, I don't know what the one feels like. There are days I definitely feel like the one. I definitely love him. I definitely want to spend time with him. But not going to lie, there are some days that I don't feel that way. So because we are angry and then we have emotions, we get riled up with conversation and our banter and our arguments, right? Uh, but yeah, like like Joseph said, for me, the one is a feeling. It's not that fairy tale moment. Yeah, he's the one. I love him forever and ever and never change. What about you, Joseph? I think I have the same sentiments right? as you. Mm. Yeah. Probably the same as well. Some days you're not the one. I want to send you out of the house. You say you want to slap me again, right? Just say you want to slap me <laughs> yeah, again. I'll slap, right? you, slap your This butt. is violence, Maggie. Huh? <laughs> I say it, but I, I trained don't do jiu-jitsu it. for the decade and I've never done this before. I've never had this thought before, but you just want to slap you. I'll punch you it's in the just face. A, it's, just a, it's just a saying, I want to slap you when I'm angry, but I don't actually slap anybody. No, she doesn't, don't worry. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. She just does it all the time. <laughs> I just like, I'll slap you, but no, nobody slaps anybody. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. To those of you who are married, I would love to hear from you. Like, what does the one feels like? Because I've asked my mother. My mother also cannot answer me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've never experienced a, a healthy relationship throughout my whole Ooh. life. Wow, we're boring. Oh, yeah, yo, boring, yo, yawning. <laughs> oh. I've never... Ha- that's, that's very rude. Sorry, I'm so sorry. As this life. I'm so sorry. Do you mean it? Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I thought it would be funny to just add it in because oh, it, sound it, effects, okay. it became a bit deep. So I thought, let's just uh, lighten it up a little bit. But oh. if you think it's rude, I'll stop it, okay? Yes, thank you. Sorry. Um, I feel like I've never experienced healthy relationship my whole life. And in terms of like, uh, my, my parents didn't have a healthy relationship. And then after that, I kept attracting the wrong guys and have uh, very unhealthy uh, dynamics of the relationship, which is why they never worked out. I got cheated on. I've cheated on people before. And I've just had so much toxicity in terms of the dynamics of relationships in general that I don't know. At some point, I didn't know what to do. But of course, over the years, uh, in this relationship, which was one of the hardest relationships I've ever been in, because I think, wow. <laughs> really, not in the sense where it's bad. There are bad days, but I feel like because this relationship really forced me to confront some of my inner demons that I've always wanted to avoid. Like, it's so easy to hop from one relationship to another. Uh, they call it the relationship hopper because of that, that love feeling that you feel in the very initial uh, period of the, any relationship, that falling in love um, period of time where you, your brain releases oxytocin, serotonin, where you feel good. It's a good feeling for a while. That's when they say, when the love fades, what happens? That's when the work starts. So 
for me, I stayed on, this is my longest relationship ever. Uh, before this was only like three years, right? So I think after our third year, it was hard work all the way. And then COVID happened. So that's why I say it's the hardest relationship. It was not, I love you, you love me every all the time. We, we had so much friction in between that at some point we weren't sure if we were doing this right. Mm -hmm. A lot of tough uncomfortable conversation that we had to have with each other and with ourselves. Obviously, this is not a version of Joseph that people see, la, but um, I think that's why it's special because it's between the both of us. Um, yeah. What do you think? Exactly what you just said. Right? Yeah. I don't think you've had a, like a long, long-term relationship. I think all my relationships are long. Like um, Two years? I have, I'm just going to spill it. La. I have three exes. La. I don't know about you. La, Many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a naughty girl. <laughs> so, so, um, the three years, um, it was all long. It was all long, like yeah, long term, long term, and um, um, at that time of my life, I, it didn't hit me how much effort that you need to put in. Yeah, until yeah, this relationship. Thing. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's very very important to put in the effort. And when I say effort, is the communication part. Um, we all have different ways of expressing, different ways of looking at things. And um, sometimes your partner's way of you know expressing and all the stuff I just said earlier is different. Mm. And that's where the hard part comes in. We need to help each other to understand why we're feeling this, why we're saying this and stuff. Mm. And that's the hard part for me. And um, mm. it's not like we're perfect right now. It's just that like, it's, we're still a work in progress, but like as long as you see progress every time, yeah, that's, that's a very good uh, way to, uh, to see yeah. the progress of your relationship. Yeah. Um, somebody asked actually, like, uh, when was the hardest period of our relationship and uh, how did we get over it? Yeah. Mm, that question, um, it's actually during the lockdown. I think it was the, the mm. second, lo the third lockdown actually. Uh, the first one was a bit of a honeymoon because we're like, yay, we can finally spend time together, right? Mm, the and first then, and second one was not so bad. Yeah. The, the third one, which was last year, the long last term year. one, the one was the one hit pretty hard during your leg, your surgery. Yeah, my as surgery well. on my leg because I couldn't go anywhere, mm. right? Um, during the lockdown, at least like one of the person, one one person can go like grocery shopping, and then like you have mm. a little bit of time on your own to reflect and stuff, mm. to be a little bit more mindful of things. But like at that time, my leg was um was gone and. Not gone now, but like it was gone. It, it was gone that period. Like yeah, I was, yeah. I was immobile yeah, for that yeah, period for, of time. It was three to four months. Uh. so imagine three to four months, right? The person who is supposed to clean the house, <laughs> is supposed to maintain the house, cannot function, and to see things like you know, like dirty and stuff, it's very hard uh, to live. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. hard for me to do it, and so I was, I would constantly like through a fit. Like, why is this like that? Why is that like that, Maggie? I told you many times already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, <laughs> the most God, difficult <laughs> time. That was the most difficult time because I couldn't do anything. Physically, I can't even do it. Usually, I was just doing my own, you know, like, uh, whatever, like, she put it here, I was just cleaning for her. La. But I can't do it. I can't even stand up on one leg. It, it was tiring to even stand up on one leg at that time. Yeah. And uh, that one, that part itself, that, that, that phase of our relationship was actually the most, I don't know about you. I remember you told me you didn't want to go for the surgery. I didn't want to. Because you were worried. I was worried of exactly like whatever as well. Can we tell you what happened? I had an ACL reconstruction yeah. for the third time yeah. because I was um, I was planning to compete in... Uh, sea Games. In this, not Sea Games, but uh, the common... Is, it, is there a Jiu-Jitsu in the Commonwealth? But I was I was actually planning to compete. In a tournament. In a tournament. There was a trial going on and... Uh, I, I think I it's for Sea Games to be. No, no, they didn't no. have my weight class at the oh. time. At that time, they were still figuring out whether they should have a heavy weight class, but oh, like okay. I was actually preparing for it. Yeah. But sadly, like I tore my uh, my meniscus again while training at home with Adric, my brother. And um, when we checked in, the doctor said um, there was a little bit of instability on the uh, tibial and the femur as well. So I always get clicking sounds whenever oh, I yeah. go to like, like, like really extreme positions like crouching low and stuff like that. Things that you... You you have what's it called again? When you get into your extreme maximum range of motion, I don't want to put too much jargon into this, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So so yeah, I was it was a lot of instability on the knee. Hence, I did the surgery, no? mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, but and yeah, he was hesitating to go for the surgery because he said something is going to happen to us. Like I don't think I will be able to cope very well this time because it 
it's very mentally draining, I believe. I mean, I've been to a surgery once and I can imagine the recovery period sometimes is not so much physical, it's a lot in the head and the mental game. Um, that's the hardest, really. Um, and for Joseph, he's someone who's very, very independent. He don't like to depend on people. I think that was the toughest for him, the fact that he was on crutches, he can't go anywhere without me mm. or by himself. So that really broke him. And because that happened, he was frustrated all the time. And when he's frustrated all the time, he wasn't very kind most of the time. And when he's not very kind, I also felt like I wasn't loved. And when that happens, you know, you know how it goes. It's it's a whole a vicious cycle. It's a cycle, like right? And from and one stuff. thing to another, we were arguing a lot. There was a lot, a lot of friction. There were a lot of unkind words thrown at each other. So it really broke us to the point where I think we took a break. Did we not? Took a break. Like, yeah. And um I was sleeping at the other room, I remembered, for months. Yeah. Because I, we slept separately for months. I just couldn't bring myself to... Sorry, I, I'm not crying. It's just I, I choked on my own sliver. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. But, but yeah, like it was just very hard for me to bring myself to sleep beside you at that time. Like Any form of intimacy at that time was just like... Wow. Out of the question. Yeah, it was out of the question for me. And we, couldn't even, time, we couldn't even have a proper conversation. I was How- struggling... Mentally as well. Yeah. Because can you imagine like one day you can walk normally and then the next yeah. day you're in the hospital, you can't even, you can barely even like, like stand up and pee. Yeah. Even peeing, like, like excreting waste products from your, from your body. body, you need help as well. Yeah. So, so it was a very tough time for me at that time. And I think I went to like, I fell into depression for a bit. Yeah. But thank God for Valdoxin. It's antidepressant. My antidepressant. I've been taking it for, for almost two years now. By and the way, uh, please go um, check with your doctor before purchasing it over the counter. Mm, you can't yeah, do that. You, you, need cannot, the, you cannot take it at yeah. OTC. So yeah. you, need to, you need a doctor's prescription yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, but, please don't. Um, but yeah, I was taking that. Uh, and that, that really helped me sleep. That yeah. really helped me. Regulated your emotions well. just a little bit more as well. No? I would say Valdoxin would be like, because it has like, Slight melatonin inside, so melatonin yeah. helps you. It's a it's a natural like ingredient that helps you. It aids you to sleep. Um, I think that helped me a lot with resting my body, yes. because a lot of times when people fall into depression, um, it's because they lack of rest, and that's why the body is constantly trying to tell you, "Hey, we need to shut down. We need to shut down. We need to shut down." Mm. But functioning depression is a really bad state because, like, even the body is telling you to shut down, but you keep going. Yeah. You know, so so it really tires the body out. And at that time, I was just so tired. Even mm-hmm. like I'm resting at home, right? I'm lying on a couch, I still get tired. Yeah. I'll yeah. take like like multiple naps a day, you know. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean you were recovering. I was recovering. Yeah. So that was the most trying period of our relationship. Uh just uh, late last year, lah, I would say. Your surgery was when? Uh? Mm, July twenty sixth. Yeah, July, then recovery, around September to that. Then we took a break. Uh, I don't know, like you call it breakup or break whatever. Like we were like, okay, maybe this is not gonna work out. We didn't. We we just did our separate things. We didn't like for a few months. Yeah, it's hard because like we stayed with each other. Yeah, and also it was during lock. It was like pre lockdown still, like where we. Oh, it opened up at that time. Opened up already. It started to open up a bit. Okay, yeah, I was already looking for places to move to. By the way, so it was quite serious at the time. I was ready to like, oh, okay, you know, I don't think this is working out. I went to view a couple of places and. Um, just couldn't find the right one because of a lot of factors when you live alone as a woman as a girl a, a lady it's there are a lot of factors you need to take into consideration obviously then the rental would be a lot more expensive because now I'm on my own I don't have anyone to share with uh, and also like safety was one of my biggest things even for Joseph like even though we weren't like we were ready for, for to, to kind of part ways Joseph was still was still quite um, kind of like us. No, yeah I mean if a girl is staying on their own I, st- I would still Let's say if things don't work out, I would still want the best for Maggie, the mm. safest place for Maggie as well. Yeah. You know? So we were like talking like we were friends already, like for a few months. Um so I I I forgot how it came back, but then after a while we had a conversation again, we revisited it and we felt like we do have very strong feelings for each other, clearly. Mm. But we didn't understand why we were going through those friction and why it just felt like it's so hard to be with you. Like, I think that was the word. Why is it so hard to be with you? Why are we always arguing? Why is this happening? Why are we like this to each other? Why do I feel like I can't be with you, but I want to be with you? It was so conflicting at the same time. 
Uh, but we decided to give it another go. Um, but also have a very we have a very supportive group of friends lah. But uh, yeah, I forgot what I wanted to say. But that was that period of time. The it was dark times. Dark times. I have to sleep alone, and whenever I need to pee, I need to walk out the room and go yeah. to the guest toilet. Yeah. I cannot just go to my toilet. Yum gong, how Yeah. How to how do we love someone who is broken or has a mental condition? I think I get what she's saying. Like someone who who mm. struggles with a mental condition or mm. struggle. How do you love them? Mm. Mm. Um, I think both of us have our own struggles. Mm. Uh, I think yours is just a, love them normally, lah. Normally, yeah. Like just take account to that they need time. You know, sometimes they need their own space and stuff like that. And I think the first thing to realize is how do they cope? Yeah. Mm. I think this would kind of tie in with the question, how do mm. we fight, right? Yeah. Don't make it sound like like having a mental disorder. Like, it's a problem. Like it's like a problem, you know? No, that's, I why I, that's why I, I say it out very openly that I'm on antidepressant. Mm-hmm. It's just so that like people, it's a taboo thing where people don't talk about, mm-hmm. I feel. Mm-hmm. And, and normalizing it would help, would definitely help people who are on these pills. Mm. Yeah. Imagine being like, like taking pills and then like taking it secretly. You know, I remember the first time I took these pills, right? And I was, I was crying yeah. in the car. Like, oh my God, like I, I'm, I'm crazy. Yeah, I remember you know, that. I was holding these pills like I'm f***ing crazy. No. Don't, it's no. fine. Yeah. Right? Having it's, a partner, okay. I think. Don't, don't make them feel like they're, they're, an outsider now, like like you know, there's something wrong like with they're them. Being rejected I think that's the first thing you like, shouldn't yeah, do. You know. Wow, but how so would you deep. want it to be loved? Like normal, normally, I want right? you to respect what I want. I would, for me, I I know how to communicate what I want. <laughs> uh, sometimes a bit off, sometimes, but yeah. like I know how to get tell Maggie, hey, I need space, right? So so I would want that. Yeah. I uh, I also want to be treated normally, like how, but a little bit more sensitive, not in a way like, oh, I don't want to touch this because Joseph might explode, but in more like, um, uh, I'm feeling this right now, I need to cope. Do you mind giving me a little bit of space? That's it. Mm-mm-mm. That's all I want. Mm. You know? Uh, I think for me, I think uh, for someone who is like the caretaker or mm. like the other person who... Not caretaker. Not caretaker, caretaker. Um, it's my own journey in the yeah, end. It's know, your own correct. journey in the end. What's the so word? Uh, the partner of someone who's going through a mental health it's, struggle. Okay, That can be very tiring as well. Yeah. It, honestly, it can be very... It mm. is very draining. Not can be. It is very draining mm. for the person, for the other partner. Mm. I Especially, mean, I have my own struggles, mm. but to Sorry. watch him... Mm. Uh, go through what he has. I mean, you mentioned about your suicidal period of uh, yeah, yeah, I had episode suicidal thoughts well. before. Um, this was before I took the pills. Yeah, and watch him struggle with um, mm. confronting himself and like, uh, it's a it's a it's a whole process. It's very very hard to watch, and even more so harder to not being able to do anything. Like Joseph says, it is his journey. But of course, as the partner, right, you would feel like you want to do something to help them to to mm. you know quote unquote fix, but you cannot fix them. There's nothing we no. can do but to just be there for them. Mm. And that is the hardest part. Of course, along the way, um, I forget to take care of myself because I'm so wrapped up about needing to take care of Joseph. Like, oh, Joseph Joseph is uh, not feeling so good today. I need to make sure he's okay. But then I forget to take care of myself. You don't need to take care of me. See? So Joseph, I think Again. the revelation was when Joseph told me, can you stop doing this? Like, can you just let me be? Uh, I think in some ways I was trying to mother him, right? Like I was trying to make sure everything is okay for him. I was trying to make it... So- I, In some ways, unconsciously, I made it a big deal. If I make sense. I made it a big deal that he's antidepressant. But to Joseph, like he said, he wants to be loved normally. Like there's no big deal. So for me, it took me a while to realize that. So now we both... it's a, In our household, it's normal. Like Joseph tell me, are you on pills? Yeah, okay, sure. But last time, like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, are you okay? I overdo it with everything. I overamplify every single thing I say and that makes him feel like there's nothing wrong with me why you make me feel like there's something wrong with me so if I can share my perspective uh, this is our perspective again yeah. some people may want that yeah. but Joseph is again, someone who's very independent so yeah that's 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 us like I yeah. want to be left alone as well not yeah. saying that like if you ha- if you want all of that I'm not saying that it's invalid mm. um, but just know that like this is us and this is our mm. experience we're not saying that like you should, you should leave do everyone this, yeah 
Yeah. You know, like every depressed person, you should just leave them alone. Yeah. Some people just want some, more Some people need the attention. You know? so, yeah. so communication is... Communication very important. is very, very important. Mm-hmm. But I think communication sometimes is not enough. You need to communicate with intent, communicate with respect. Some people communicate, yes, you're just talking, 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 but you're not really uh, conveying the message. You're not really doing it with respect. You can communicate and still hurt someone. So what I'm saying here is really communicate and try to understand what they need. Ask them, what do you need? How can I help you? Because a lot of times, I think I was helping him the way I think I, he, need, he needed to be helped. Mm. But it was not what Joseph needed. And that's when I felt rejected. I feel like, why don't you let me help you? And why don't why can't I do this? I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. So it's kind of like this very entitled anger here that I was experiencing that was very unhealthy to a certain extent because I was just doing things that I think he wants. Truth is, he didn't need it. So that was a bit of a friction there for a bit. Uh, so it's hard, but not impossible. It's a lot of communication and really trying to understand and not do things for yourself. Meaning like- Oh, this is a partner's perspective, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a partner's perspective, if someone's in going through something, mm-hmm. um, you should just be there for the person. Yeah, correct, correct. And sometimes being there, you don't have to do things to be there. Yeah. You know, you can just listen. That's all you need. Yeah, and be very self-aware. Uh, mm. I actually read this the other day. Um, I really love Zendra's book, by the way. A uh, shout out to Zendra. That her book actually helped me uh, quite a bit in my journey when I was going through that rocky phase with Joseph. Um, it says here, the part I highlighted in my clips, it says, when we put in effort to be self-aware, understanding and accepting, it's not for the other person. It's also for ourselves. So sometimes that is very lacked off in relationships in general. We want to do things for the other person. Mm. We want to do it for them, we do it for them, and then we forget about ourselves. But sometimes when we put ourselves first, we are also taking care of the other person. So that's when I saw a bit of a change there when I started taking care of myself. I I won't say I stopped taking care of Joseph, but I started priori- prior- prioritizing myself first and putting myself first. That's when I saw the shift in the relationship. Mm. Mm, yeah. I just want to say um, thank you. I know it's been hard and... Uh, Thank you for still being here. And uh, this is publicly. Uh, I, 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 I thanked you before privately, but I just want to say like, I want thank to put you. it into, like, into, into this video. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding and thank you so much for being there um, mm. throughout. And I'm not saying that like, I may, I won't feel this ever again. Yeah. Just like anyone, you know, depression can come and go. Yeah. Whether it's, is it acute or is it chronic again? But like, for that period when um, when I just wanted to be left alone, um, thank you for trying to understand me. I appreciate mm-hmm. the effort, Maggie. Thank you. In Don't cry. Uh. You broke the... I mean, Young, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so... Hey, damn long on this question. We're going to wow, move yeah. on to the next question. Is uh, how do we repair the relationship after hurting each other? Core mechanic, huh? Yeah, we call it mechanic. <laughs> our mechanic is our therapist. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one quite short. Um, it's a very simple formula that our therapist taught us. I'm pretty sure you don't need a therapist to teach you that. Mm. Uh, that is, whenever there's a rupture, always repair. Don't yeah. leave it till the rupture accumulates. Mm-hmm. Then you try to repair because the, by then it may be too late or there's just way too pent up emotions or pent up energy, uh, pent up anger or whatever, then it may be too late. I want to say it's never too late, but too much to repair and you may not have the capacity to do so. So for me and Joseph, ever since we learned that, uh, we, go, we used to go for couples therapy, but then COVID happened, we kind of stopped because the online version of therapy didn't quite work for us. No, we, we needed to do it in person. So it's been tough to make an appointment. Uh, but would you say couples therapy helped us? Yeah, it helped. It definitely helped. It's just sadly like the difference between like long distance uh, uh, distance, distance therapy. therapy and like individual physical therapy is that the your body language, right? And how the, the therapist sees it, right? is very, very important. And sometimes in like distance therapy, it's very hard to see, especially when you have shitty internet or the both of you guys have yeah, shitty yeah, internet. Yeah. So it's really hard to see both. And um, 
I felt that like it was like not a waste of money. We still learn in that way, yeah. but like I, we didn't get what we paid. Not we didn't did, get, not, we, no, we I, still get, but it's just a different way. You know, like it's much more effective if you see in person. Yeah. So. Because again, if you realize, eighty percent of communication is nonverbal. Mm-hmm. So. So our therapists couldn't really see our body language. Mm. So that was something that we had to pause for a bit until we are safe to go back in to do physical sessions. Yeah, I mean it is okay now if we do regular yeah. testing but it's just that like not everybody wants to see uh, our therapist fuck I have no time to see yeah her, she's so. so busy um, no but how do you repair the relationship Joseph like your version mm, my version because we're so different people yeah. Maggie's afraid of an abandonment I am more like I want to be left alone yeah so, totally different by the way which so, we'll talk about actually mm, that's a good one we struggled the first few times because of first few years you mean first few years sorry still struggle though yeah um, but a lot better now yeah, but yeah, yeah. but Maggie would want to uh, to solve the uh, the issue right away. Like, let's say we fight now, the next two seconds, hey, just let's fix it right, right now. <laughs> you know? For me, it's like, I don't want to fix it, uh, whatever. Uh. After 10 years or so, I probably still don't want to fix the same issue, you know? So we have to find like, a time where both of us put in the work. And that's the hard part. Because, we keep learning, each other. Hmm, learning how to do that, um, when you learn new habits, right, in your brain, right, it's, it's tough because you're going out of the ordinary mm. and and um, that is where the work comes in. You need to respect how uh, your partner copes and you also need to respect how you cope as well mm. because you can't just like force yourself, right? So it's always finding that like, that midpoint. For Maggie and I, we, we don't like, let's say if we get into an argument, we don't we don't repair things right away. We take, it, we take a few hours off, sometimes even a day or two. I follow his timing because you know me, la, I want to repair right away. So I will wait till he is ready because for me, I'm always ready. Actually, you know what? No, I feel like I'm ready right now. But truth is, I actually am not. I'm riled up with so much emotion and it took me many years with Joseph going back and forth, arguing a lot of friction to make me realize that actually I don't need to fix problems right now because I myself need that time to kind of reflect think and cool down or regulate my emotions before I actually am ready to talk about it again. So a lot of times when I think I'm ready, I'm actually not. So it was something that I had to confront myself and I had to realize myself. Um, so yeah, but Joseph is someone definitely that takes time. Hmm. So No wrong, no right again. No wrong, no different. right. And I'm pretty sure a lot of couples are like that, to be very honest. Obviously, there are some who just are very super compatible, like good for you. But, you know, they are, we are humans. Everybody's different. We have their very different values, principles, and belief system. And this is one of mm. ours that we felt like it was very different. But at the same time, we tried our best to make it work. So, um, yeah, to repair, you definitely need to uh, repair the ruptures. Definitely address the, 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 the problem. And for us, Joseph and I, we when we do that, it's... And when it's a good session, it's usually after after the cooling period. Like after we have cooled down, we sit down, we let each other speak and not speak over each other. Because a lot of the times, because when you're finally ready to talk, there's so much you want to say, right? You want to defend yourself. Why did that happen? No, 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 no. Did it, yeah, some, some of you may have a list. I used to have a list of what I want to tell Joseph. I was ready for attack to win the conversation. But at the end of the day, I think the goal shouldn't be to win the conversation, but to understand what happened. So that shifted for me because I'm someone who, you know, Joseph, I always want the love say. Mm. I always want to be right. I have this need to be right, which annoys me sometimes, but um, I'm working on it. But um, yeah. Mm. Me one. Well, I. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't okay. boring, I thought it'd be fun, Maggie. You promised me it'll be Promise fun. Promise you the so... game is coming later. Two, how many more questions okay. should we take? Last. Last question. Would you have fallen in love if you met your partner when you were a teenager? I don't think I would. I think I, I think also I don't was, think I would. I was at a different place when I was, you know, a teenager at different times. I don't think I would appreciate how I appreciate you now. What? Joseph, don't do that. Uh, I also don't think I would date mm. him. Although in terms of physical appearance and all that, yeah, sure. Bro, I'm at my peak now. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Shut up. But also I think um, 
Geographically, geographically wasn't possible. possible. I was an Ipo. He's a KL boy. <laughs> so no, I don't think so. But yeah. I also got a lot of guys call me on during my teenager years. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So I don't think I got time for you. I have people that can back me up. But you don't. Back you up means what? Like, like to say, what wow, this last time a lot of girls like this guy. A lot of people say that. I uh, nobody can back but me up because nobody goes to Ipo. That's why. Oh right, all oh, right. People go to Ipo only because of that funny mountain top Yeah, that's why whatever. They, who the hell goes to what? Ban- what? What? What spring again? Banjaran Spring is it? I don't go there. Exactly. You know nothing to do there. I don't know why people go there. Okay. What do you go back there for? I don't. All right, guys. I think we're gonna move on to our next segment. Uh, we are done with the Q and A. Maybe we'll keep some for the rest. But thank you so much for sending in your questions. I wish we have more time, but otherwise we may end up like being on for five hours just, just like talking Amen. about it. If you want five hours, go to Amen. Joseph, stop plugging in your show. That's not how it works. All right. All right. We're gonna move on, and I'm gonna pass the mic over to Bella because apparently they've got something planned for the both of us. So okay, Bella, let's go. Hello, hello guys. So just so you know, the team behind, we're just like, wow, this has been such a like wholesome. This is the first time we've seen Maggie and Joseph so real to each other um, in front of cams. Because you guys know Joseph and Maggie as like yeah. jokesters behind yeah. the IG stories. But I guess it's good to see that side. But let's bring in the jokesters back. So we're going to go into a cute couple segment where you guys... Um, I'm going to ask a few questions and mm-hmm. you guys are going to point at each other but you guys can't fight over Cannot who, fight uh. You cannot fight Impossible so, Bella <laughs> So we're going to say who does what better and then you guys cannot justify I just want to we just want okay, to let the audience sure. see sure. what your perceptions are sure. and who does Yeah, Just point lah mm. But then um, for those of them who are on Spotify how would they Should we just mention name as well? Mm. Okay uh, We'll just point at them and we'll say yeah, we just point. You know what? Go with the flow. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yes, we're just gonna make them choose who does what better. It's mm-hmm. quite a classic game. Oh, better. Let's get into it. Mm. We're excited to see how competitive they get. Okay. Yeah. Who cooks better? Maggie. Yes, correct. Who's the clingy one? Maggie. Okay. I thought cooker. I, uh, cleaning. Cooker. I thought cleaning. Cleaning. Clingy. Clingy. Who's the clingy one? Maggie. Okay. Who's the hot tempered one? Maggie as well sometimes. Both of us. Both of us actually. Who spends more on useless stuff? <laughs> Joseph. Who normally apologizes first? Please, no. I said no fighting. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, who huh? where was the second date? Can you guys tell me like Huh? Second date was um Depends. Solo date or a Date both of us need. I don't um, that would be at um, Obviously both where. of them Don't know where it, It's uh, the big market At Publica Remember we had that food The piece you like Yeah, yeah Was that, that the second date? It was second date oh. You brought me there Because you, you, you used to live Within uh, two okay. tamas That was a surprise question I guess Joseph knew Better than Maggie yeah? Of course So who is the funniest one? <laughs> Obviously Joseph oh, okay. Who does the dishes the most? Ah. <laughs> Joseph. Yeah. Who has a better sense of style? <laughs> Come on, guys. Joseph. I oh, have to really? say Joseph. Ryan has okay. to agree as well. Right, Ryan, yeah. my boy. Joseph, I, I have to agree. Who loses things all the time? Me. You I know what? He has a story. He has, he has a story. I lost my IC five times. If I lose it again, I have to go put a jaya. Basically, I have to go to court. Yeah. Because they think that I'm, I'm selling my IC. Smuggling ICs. Yeah. Okay. I lost yeah. it five times. Okay, that's the end of the first segment just to sort of let the audience see yeah, it's so easy that, that, what okay. but the next one what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Joseph and Maggie face each other okay. right yeah. now and they're gonna have to tell each other five things they love about each other but yeah. if the pers- a person laughs or stutters you will have to draw on each other's faces with a lipstick <laughs> oh, yes. I know no how to laughing there's no stuttering. Like five things. Five things he love. And then it has to be like... I love about her. Yeah, about okay. each other. Okay. All about ah. Uh. Yeah, so you have to say five things you love about Joseph. Can Joseph I smile say, when I do that? Can no, I? it is like serious. Okay. If the moment you laugh or smile... She's done already. Right. <laughs> Joseph gets to draw. Mm. Wow, like that, I'm, 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 I'm weak ah. Uh. I'm very <laughs> weak in that. Okay, so Ali first. brought in the lipstick. Ali, did you bring in the lipstick? Yeah, it's with me. Why is okay. it with her? Can I have one on my own? Aish. Okay, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna start with Joseph to Maggie. Five things. 
I love how you cook for me. Mm. I remember the first time you cooked for me. It was shit. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot better now. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Your turn. No, all five. All five. Ah. I love that... Um, I love that you are not materialistic. Mm. That you... You can wear your granny's panties for 20 years and mm-hmm. still wear the same one. Okay. Mm. The same gym shorts I saw you bought from Thailand. The Thailand trip was six, seven years ago. You're still wearing it. it look, it's horrendous, by the way. Mm-hmm. The colors bleached and stuff. You're still wearing it. Mm. The third one is... Um, mm, no, I but like, you got to draw on his face. Huh? Because you started... Five, oh, five oh, have to start it also cannot uh. Yes, cannot Never mind, I give you a chance Okay, okay. I love you I love You I don't l- start that anymore uh. I love your consistency as well with things You're always there to remind me And always you're always putting consistent effort as well mm-hmm. The fourth one is I I love it when you give me time You give me my space to cope mm. You respect how I cope as well mm. Even though uh, sometimes uh, you don't usually give it to me, but thank mm. you for that. And how many did I did already? Four, last right? Last one, last one. Last one, right? Last one is. Oh. Uh, why are you doing this to me? You broke my train of thought again. I was supposed to say really to sweet, Maggie. Okay, I'm <laughs> trying to be you. I'm trying to do you. You don't see. Hey, if if so Bella this is laugh, where you guys draw join each other. If Bella laugh, then we do her also, lah. Oh yeah, hey. lor. Oh, uh, she laugh. That's or? not how it works. That's not how. Okay, it works. Okay, okay. Last one. Just the last one is. Uh, I'm not gonna say what I like about you. What I love about you. I'm gonna say what I hate about you. Cannot. You cannot change the I game. Hate it when you when you when you always glorify Park Seo Jun. So, so, so this is where Maggie gets to draw on Joseph's face. <laughs> totally worth it. Whatever, lah. I hate when you glorify Park Seo Joon enough. Okay, just to show your face to me. What's this? <laughs> Continue. The five video? Done. Okay, done. done yeah. Okay. I risk, I risk the last one for that. So now it's Maggie's turn to Joseph. I love how you wash the dishes. I love how you. Le- I can't say the same to you though. Okay, I love how you enjoy cleaning because I hate cleaning. You when you clean, right? Just so you're not supposed to say and I think you only draw stain on, every time got all stain one. No la. She didn't say interrupt or. Oh. oh. Continue. I love how you are so crazy about cars, but you cannot afford them. I can afford. It's just not the right time. Okay. I love how you love. Not already. Huh? Correct. Right. Our last one, no problem. Don't no don't, don't touch my lips. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> okay, the last one. I love how. Eh, three ah, uh, fourth one uh. four, 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 four. Four. I love how. That thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, that's not. A game. That's another draw. <laughs> Continue. Oh, you laughed. Maggie, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta back up. <laughs> oh, I laughed again. Maggie, <laughs> <laughs> you laughed. Sorry, Maggie, you laughed. Do we have makeup remover? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last one. The last well, two. Cool we give you last five one. seconds. We give okay, five, five seconds. seconds. Five seconds. You. Five, the fourth and fifth. Four. Okay. Three, two, one. Nobody can take a face seriously right now. <laughs> uh uh, sorry. <laughs> no. What? Don't be. I was doing so well. You you oh, can't have no. You have to draw until you finally give your final two answers. <laughs> Joseph, that's two strokes. Continue. Oh, okay. Okay, I love how when you bend over, I can see your asshole because your underwear is so transparent. <laughs> <laughs> so you to join each other. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. <laughs> it's so transparent. <laughs> he, said, he tells me about my granny underwear. At least it's not transparent. Right. When Joseph bends over. 
Sada. I can see everything. You Sada. might as well don't wear, bro. And then during his surgery time, when he cannot wear pants because he has his crutches on, whatever, all he did was wear underwear. And every day I see everything. Alright, ready? One stroke, Nia. Okay, done. No, I'm drawing. A fudge. Beautiful. Beautiful. Last one, Meg. <gasps> I love how you always listen to me when I'm going through a hard time. I love that you actually uh, am my safe space and you are my home. That's great. That's five things you love about each other. Let's look at the cams. Cams. Wow. Beautiful. And that wraps up today's episode. <sighs> Back to you, Maggie. Alright, guys. I... I'm lost of words right now. Just so can you just turn your face around to the other side? Yeah. No, the other side. Yeah. Just show it to them. Yeah. Oh, it's Park Seo Jun, right? Oh, can you, I laugh now? She knows laugh, right? me so well. Yeah. You know, I can feel it when you do that. Oh. Okay. Bella, actually, we should draw Bella. La, I feel because she laughed two times. All right, guys. I think that's the end of our episode today. I hope you enjoyed Sorry, I that. I cannot take a face seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, if you want to watch that particular segment, I think it's better if you guys hop onto YouTube and just rewatch again if you are on Spotify. But yeah, Joseph, I just want to also say um, thanks for being there for me as well. Thank you for being a partner that I uh, never imagined. Um, and you really have taught me a lot of things about the things I know I want in life and the things I don't want in life. And I'm glad that you are a team player that I can count on. Can you look at me when I talk to you, bro? Oh, but you look at the camera. Yeah, look at me. So I look at you, look at the camera. Yes. I don't look at you because I keep laughing. <laughs> no wonder. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you and I love you. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> so yes, that is the dynamic of our, of our relationship and that's something that I've accepted uh, and I'm totally okay with it because I think oh, it's fun. Oh, someone dropped the logo. Oh, oh, Let's that continue to the closing. <laughs> um, and um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. Or if you want us to do another episode, uh, part two or something, I will have to find another way to bring Joseph on the show. One minute of ads. You know what? Let's end the episode with your final 30 seconds of ads. Don't have to reread the thing. Just say whatever. Okay. Um. In three, two... One, and go. Are you tired of speaking your emotions? Are you tired of <laughs> listening to heavy conversations? Well, look no further. Come by to the Amen Show and listen to our podcast where it's always fun. We don't talk about emotions. We just talk about experience and gags. We'll see you there. My name is Joseph, co-host of the Amen Show. We'll see you and guys this is where we end up. So thank you guys for listening. Bye. Bye. I don't think I should say anything more. Bye, Joseph. I mean, I mean, bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>